Hi folks, it's John Barkley again, and I know I've recently spoken about Topaz and my love of their products, uh, but this image the other day just it was even a wow experience for me. I mean, I love Adjust, but this one I think is a great example image to show you just how dramatic and how easy it is to create a dramatic image. So here we have this picture of a horse that I did with a 17 millimeter wide angle lens, just of you know, inches from this, this old guy's nose. And this is what it looks like, pretty lackluster, midday sun. Um, but if we go to Topaz, adjust, I think you see just how simple and easy it is with a couple of quick moves and why I'm such a fan of their, their products. So remember, adaptive exposure is how we can adjust the, look at that, just how that fast. And now regions is going to affect all of the image if we do this so all of the tonalities in the image you know half of the tonalities in the image and over here to the left it's just kind of the brightest and the darkest so and i heard tony sweet recently say he thinks about it as a light smoothing tool now i think that's a good way to think about it uh, and so this one i tend to like a little bit further over this direction and then we go over to the color tab and we can use the adaptive saturation quite nicely on this one and affect most of the regions again on this particular image. And now we're gonna bring back some nice blue in the sky. Most importantly, the tonality of the grass is what I was paying attention to here. So in what, 15 seconds, if I wasn't speaking to you and demonstrating, I'd have gone from this to this. Pretty dramatic, so let's go ahead and accept okay on that. And then let's go into my workflow for one last step and go to Topaz Detail. I've made this a pretty small uh, TIFF file so that we can very quickly uh, go into Topaz Detail. Remember, it's creating three different layers. And so you can work on the small, the medium, and the detail, large details. Uh, and so here again, we can just quickly go in here and start to affect the details. A little bit too much there. And even on this one, I think we, because there's so much detail in the sky, I think I'm going to be okay bringing back in a little of that detail in the sky even without getting halos. That's what I want to be very careful of. And I see them coming in there, so I'm going to back off and I'm going to work more with my medium detail slider. So let's take a quick look before, after, before, after we've worked on the details and brought some of this back. And there we go, just that fast. So let's go back to before we started on this. Here was Topaz Adjust, Detail, and we have a pretty dramatic image in a very few steps.